Good morning. Hello. <laughs> Today is going to be such an exciting day because we are heading over to Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay. If you're new here, hello. My name is Ash. And I'm Ben. And we love a good theme park. We love a good zoo. So this is going to be great. And we are going to a bucket list theme park for me today. So come along with us. We've got the GoPro. We're going to try and get some rides in. I don't know how many we're going to do. We're not the biggest thrill ride people, but we do love a couple of coasters. So we're going to get into it. Let's go. Okay, we have just made it over to Bush Gardens. I will switch to my camera shortly, but let's go to the toilet first. First ride of the day is Phoenix Rising. Rising is done. That was actually great. So much good force. It's not super intense, but it definitely does have a little bit of that like push and pull. How do you feel? I don't like roller coasters. Ben doesn't like roller coasters. I love that. That was great. Like it's like right in the middle of like something that's super extreme and like a pity coaster. I so it's good. Everest. Shut up. Okay, I know my camera's in my bag. But next ride of the day is Cheetah Hunt. I'm really excited about this. Three wow! We just came across these tortoises. Look at the size of them! They are huge! Wow! Oh my god, this place is crazy. That is huge! Absolutely insane, easily the best roller coaster I've ever been on. Um, not that I've been on that many, but like usually I get extremely motion sick and nauseous, and that was like super smooth. The roll is insane that you kind of move around with some good pops of air time, some good force. Um, ben didn't come on with me. What's here? <gasps> Gators! Yeah, I can see his little head. Um, but honestly, it was insane. I'm trying to get Ben on it, but I don't think they're gonna go on it, so which is fine if you don't. 
that's, that was like me for like 26 years of my life, so. I don't know if you can see, but there is crocs or alligators. Are they crocs? Alligators? I don't know. I think they're crocs, aren't they? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it would make sense if they're alligators in Florida, but. All right, Cobra's Curse, let's go. 10 minute queue, which is amazing. favorite of the day. Oh god. Jeez, that was not good. Right, that? Yeah. More intense version of Crush. Oh really? Way more intense version, but that's what Crush feels like. Oh. We have just done Cobra's Curse. How did you feel about it? I don't like rides that go backwards, I figured out. Yeah, honestly, it was, uh, it wasn't that fun. Um, love Cheetah Hunt, love Phoenix Rising, then didn't. Um, Hit Cobra's Curse, that was really, really awful. Like, my head hurts after that. It's kind of just a little bit rally and a little bit forceful. Um, not really the, my type of thing. I have heard today to avoid one too, so I'm probably not going to do that just because of, you know, motion sickness. We just found a little lion. Oh. Ben's snack review time. Hello. Nuggets, waffle fries, chicken burger. We are in Chick fil A. Try a nugget. Nugget. Oh. Right, here we go. You won't like them. Chewy. Let's try one. Not crispy at all. Boom. Yeah. The taste is okay. But they are very, very chewy and not, cr not crispy, not crunchy. Look at that. That's big. It just tastes like tail. It's like fine, but I don't think Chick fil A know anything about flavor. Really? There's nothing. It's just chicken in a bun. Can I try it? Like maybe the sauce will make up for it. Yeah. But it's just chicken in a bun. Oh. There's nothing, there's no flavor. It, it's just bland. Now there's a tiger. Ben and I have just spotted a Nile crocodile. I'll tell you something, this place is crazy. If you like animals and coasters, like, you're gonna love it. I can't see him here. He looks like a, underneath, he looks like a log. Oh my God, he's huge. Look at that. Like, hold on. That is the edge of him. And then it's that, wow, he's huge. We found the hippos. 
Oh, wow. This to me was one of the most incredible moments of the trip. It's very, very rare to get this close to a hippo and to actually be able to see it swim like underwater is amazing. I really do wish that I filmed it on the camera, but unfortunately it was just like so heavy in my bag and I didn't want to have to get it back and forth between going on rides. But next time we go to Bush Gardens, I will definitely make sure to get the camera out. It's incredible, amazing. The body of the croc is crazy. It's so long and his head is right there. Wow. <laughs> that is absolutely obsessed with lemurs, and I don't blame them to be honest. They're so cute. <laughs> so cute. Hi. So we're chilling out at a fan. It's boiling. It's really hot. But I just went into a shop and got. Hold on. Ah. Got this. How much would you pay for that? Like in a theme park, like four or five dollars. Seven fifty one. Shocking. Seven fifty one. Shocking. Absolutely terrible. It's a regular size, by the way. It's not yeah, like it's not usual. big. <laughs> My God. Yeah. We have just found an armadillo. Look at him. Look at him go. Oh, oh. Some flamingos. Look at all those chickens. It's a sloth. He's so cute. <laughs> that little face. that you can walk through and like basically they get you absolutely so well they don't get you so but it's like like look at this like it's it's crazy and then before you know it refreshed so here goes the trend for phoenix rising i really hope ash is on this one because i have no idea Let's see going up there to get one last ride on Cheetah Hunt so I can get a front row POV. I haven't done like the big, big ones, but I'm getting there. So hopefully next time we come up, we have a little bit straight up. Yep, she crack, no worries. We got in just in time, which is great. So let's go get a front row ride, hopefully, on Cheetah Hunt. I do need to pee, so this is a really bad idea.
Woo! Oh. <laughs> Love it. Hello, it appears that I may have lost some footage from this vlog or we just didn't film an outro. So, the only downside to going to Bush Gardens in September is the park closes at around 5 p.m., which does make it a little difficult to get every single ride in. The great thing about this day was the fact that it was so quiet. Everything was almost a walk on. And what I will say is I didn't do any of the big coasters. I'm still not really ready for them. I don't know if I'll ever be ready for them, to be honest. But as someone who does deal with some pretty intense motion sickness and a phobia of vomiting, it really does affect my ability to actually get myself on some rides. Um, I'm really proud of myself for doing Cheetah Hunt. I fell in love with it. It was like literally my favorite ride. So I'm, I'm curious to know how I would be with some other rides maybe when I go back in the future. Definitely gonna try and get over there next year um, in 2025, but we'll just see. Maybe if this YouTube thing goes well, maybe I'll be there sooner. I don't know. It's not gonna happen. With that being said, I do actually think Busch Gardens is an amazing theme park to visit even if you're not a thrill seeker. The zoo is incredible. There was so much more of this day that we didn't film and like just getting to explore the zoo and seeing the animals and seeing like the animals so up close was really, really amazing. It might even be the best zoo that we've been to other than artists in Amsterdam. Uh, that zoo is incredible. And obviously there is a lot of debate and things like that about zoos and keeping animals in captivity. I would imagine none of the animals at Busch Gardens are able to just be released. Do you know what I mean? So the safest place for them to be is at Busch Gardens. What I will say is their enclosures were very, very spacious. They seem to be taken care of very very well and it's just a really really great theme park to be in. I will say I would love to do two days there I think just to kind of slow down a little bit especially with those reduced park hours however it is an amazing place for literally everybody whether you've got kids whether you've got big you know like older kids who are thrill seekers like whatever it is they've got so much on offer here as well as shows that we didn't even get to see. We were really really blown away with how incredible Bush Gardens was and we can't wait to return someday in the near future but for now I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching if you are new here hello my name is Ash I make travel and and theme park content with my partner Ben. We would really appreciate it if you subscribe down below, turn the notification bell on if you want to be notified when we upload, and follow us over on Instagram if you want to keep up to date with all the photos, all the reels, everything fun like that. But for now, I'm gonna go. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Bye!